So first and second meeting. First meeting for me is about open book. It's about presenting every piece of evidence. And it could be the reason that people didn't do as much due diligence as I'd have liked because I presented them with all the due diligence. Because I really thought, what, what would I want to see? Well, I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm going to give it to you so that you can take it away and study it. So first meet for me is about open book. This is what I've done. This is who I am. This is my background. Here are some case studies. This is what I want to do. Here's my business plan. And we're going to talk about some paperwork. And they're going to ask some questions. They're not going to ask every question they think. They're going to drive away and think, oh, I wish I'd asked that. OK, so then you're probably going to have some interim emails going on and uh, probably send over the legal documents to them so they can see. So question. And you guys have all got legal documents because I've given them to you. If you were going to lend someone money and you turned up at a meeting and you said, can you show me the legal document? And they go, oh, well, I don't have one. Would you work with them? Because <coughs> they haven't invested. They haven't put skin in the game. They haven't made sure that you're, you can understand the legal documentation. You always lead the investor. I don't mean lead in a negative or cunning way. Um, investors don't know necessarily what it is they specifically want out of a structure and if you kind of say this is a cooperative let's have a discussion they're kind of going to wibble wobble and not be sure so I think it's very important that you identify what you're prepared to give be very clear about that and stick to it so really what by leading the investor I mean you give the investor the structure of what you're prepared to deliver and then they can say yes or no so really leading in that way Second meeting, um, you book your second meeting from your first meeting. This is a small admin point, guys, but it's really relevant. Um, we did a time and motion study on phone calls. Of course, we did. And we discovered that one in five phone calls gets answered because people are busy. So in your busy life of running projects and doing business and doing property and meeting people and having a normal life, are you prepared to make five phone calls to get one person in? Or can you book your second meeting from the first meeting? So at the end of the first meeting, say, look, I've done my open book with you. You've heard what I'm looking to achieve. We've talked about kind of sums of money. Can we book a meeting two weeks from today? Put it in the diary. If you decide not to work with me, that's totally fine. Just cancel the meeting. So it's a small point, but book the second meeting from the first meeting. And that is their opportunity to come back and ask the questions that have been kind of germinating. And really, you're going to be answering any of their object, objections at that point.